Hello, I'm Emily and I'm here to guide you to health and social care singles. In Key Stage 5 you will be learning about new skills such as roles and responsibilities as well as expanding your knowledge into other areas of health and social care such as psychology and one of its units. You will also learn about communication skills and expanding on your examination skills which will help you on your pathway into your future career. One of the things I find interesting about health and social care is how you can apply it to any setting at all. Now, I'll be honest with you, <laughs> my dream career is in film. Yeah, not the typical ambassador answer. However, with the skills you learn through this subject, you can apply it to any setting. This includes person-centred care and empathy, which you are able to take into any colleague situation and then move forward into any situation and become a more successful company. One of the biggest differences between Key Stage 4 and Key Stage 5 is the workload. But even though you are doing more of what you love, it is easier to fall behind. So keep focused and make sure you have some notes because trust me, you will need them. One of my biggest challenges since being in sixth form has definitely been motivation and positive self-talk. In times such as these, it is easier to fall into the defeatist mindset, adding extra stress onto already stressful situations. However, my advice to you is simple. Keep calm and repeat these four words. I can do this. Until you believe in yourself, you cannot open the window of opportunity. And once you do, you will be on your way to a successful career. So, from one World Kirk student to a future one, have fun, keep learning, and welcome to Health and Social Care.